Of all the taxes people pay, the tax that we get the most complaints about is the property tax. And that's because the property tax is very regressive. It's based on uh, the perception of the value of your property, not based on your income and your ability to pay. And as a result, as uh, people uh, strive to purchase a home or to uh, renovate a home, the value of the property will go up, the taxes will go up, even though their income may not be keeping up with that. And it's especially burdensome for senior citizens who uh, often end up on fixed income and as the cost of living goes up, their income does not keep pace. And yet they want to stay in their homes. And we want them to stay in their homes because, after all, that's where they raise their families. That's where uh, their lives revolve around that property, those homes, and sometimes for generation after generation. And uh, I was here in Pelham, and I'm standing before the Pelham Town Hall. I was here in Pelham for the Lions Barbecue uh, one year, and it was actually, I think, my uh, first or second year in the state legislature. And I sat at the table with Abby and uh, Avis Weaver, both unfortunately have passed on now, but uh, they were senior citizens at the time and, and were describing to me how much they loved this community, how much they wanted to stay in this community, how much they wanted to stay in their home, and how they wanted to support the services that they were used to receiving and that they knew their friends and neighbors and, and family here in town needed, and yet they were really struggling to pay their property taxes. That message really hit home, and uh, I thought about that for some time and eventually sat down with the then State Senator John Olver, who was my partner representing Pelham, and described the situation, and together we came up with the idea of a circuit breaker for property taxes for senior citizens. And it took about uh, eight years, uh, maybe nine years, for us to get that piece of legislation into place. But the uh, senior uh, citizen uh, tax break now for uh, people who make limited incomes, uh, who have high property taxes, or even who have high water or sewer bills in some communities, you can apply, you pay your property tax, and then you apply when you fill out your income tax form. Even if you don't owe it in the income tax, you fill out the income tax form, you report this data, and you can get up to $1,000 back from state government. And tens of thousands of senior citizens have benefited by this over the years. And I'm going to say that it's been in place for somewhere around 10 years now, maybe coming on 11 or 12 years. And uh, my last checking on that was about $60 million a year of property tax relief for senior citizens. So that's $60 uh, million a year, eight, six, eight, nine hundred million $900 uh, over, uh, over a decade's time and a little bit more uh, to help senior citizens so that they can stay in their homes and also so that they can support the services in their communities. And here in Pelham, that resulted in a lot of senior citizens voting to help build a new library, which also contains uh, the fire department. That would not have been possible for many of those folks to support the override if they weren't getting some help from, from this property tax relief. So very proud that um, from the barbecue here, uh, in the DPW barn right next to the, the uh, town hall here in Pelham. An idea was born over barbecued chicken. It took a while to get it done, but it's now helped thousands and thousands of people for more than a decade.